Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We don't start a good series today. And I uh, know it's a, the chapter I always, I always treasure. I, I love the whole book of the Bible. And let's, let's do a word of prayer before I get into a lot of things because I can get sidetracked. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. I thank you for teaching me these past few hours again, going over some of the things that you taught me about wisdom. And Father, open up the ears of those who will hear you today or hear through my voice and let, let Darnell, this, this person, this human being, peace decrease and let the spiritual man that guide you, guide, guided by you in all things, you know, uh, as I live this in this world with this earth suit. Uh, let, 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 let the, the, the spiritual man come out and, and teach your word like you taught Solomon, like you taught all the great apostles and prophets and teachers and, you know, evangelists and pastors and, and you know, teach us today, Lord, and, and we will give you all the praise. And I thank and I praise you and I honor you and I lift you up. If nobody else does it, you know, others can pray with me. But I'm praying for those who, who, who under the sound of my voice, to get you open up their understanding and give them wisdom. You know who you want to target. You know who you want this message to go forth. I'm putting it out there and they can subscribe to it. And it's going out into all the world. And we thank you and we praise you this day. And we give you all the honor. And all the all your goodness, all your love, uh, we give them all. We give it all to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I told you I'm full. Uh, you know, I do some foolish things sometimes. You know, and people have said, "Well, you know, Darnell, you're correct." I said, "Well, you know, that's this person." I said, oh, what, "What am I? You were right." I said, "What am I right about?" You know, and the person didn't say it because she thought, or he thought, um, they thought that I might. Um, you know, get big headed and use it against them. But I, I won't, wouldn't do that. I like to use it for a testimony and see how God is using this, this vessel to help folks to see the rightness of who Christ is, you know. And uh, my job is to be a witness. He told me that a long time ago. But today we talk about this subject called wisdom. And that's why I'm so excited. You know, last week we talked about the prostitution, the prostitute trap. This week, you know, chapter eight, and uh, you know, we gonna get into some words. You know, you subscribe to she, and people might take that interp interpretation that God is a she because wisdom is is Christ Himself. He's the source. It's an attribute of God, but I use it interchangeably because, and then people get you know, people who look at it the letter, they will they will um, say, well, you know, God is a she. You know, or but it, it, wisdom is the source. Wis, without wisdom, you can have understanding and knowledge of God, and you can not apply it. Wisdom is the application. So we want to get into this attribute. I'm so excited, but I don't. I like to build it a little bit before we get into it. I'm gonna build it just with a few things. You know, the question was why the book of Proverbs anyway? Why the book of why 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 do we do that? He said to help those who are unwise. It's simple. The young folk to become wise, or for those who already have a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of understanding, help them to get wiser and to learn more and get wisdom and get discerning. And, and uh, I just had to write it down and guidance from the word of God, the almighty Jesus. Okay. That, that's what you do. You know, and this man named Solomon, he wrote this thing. You know, he, God used him right to get. Yeah, he was he, he reigned for about 40 years from, you know, 970 B.C. to about 930 B.C. And uh, you have, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you can have, you can be wise, but you can do some foolish things. And that's what he did. He was a young man. He did some foolish things, you know, in his life. Someone, someone can have a gift of God and can squander that gift. OK, you can have a gift of wisdom and then you can squander. it. You can do foolish things. We can lose sight of God. OK, we can lose sight of God and we can get involved in sinful things. And we do it all the time. I have to watch myself every day. OK, uh, I'm talking about me. We can, I can do sinful things. I can talk foolish things. And people have known me. They probably said this man, dude, he talks some foolish stuff. 
and by the exercise of our free will. I'm exercising my free will. God will never take away your free will. He said, God will stop me from, no, he won't. He gives you the information. He gives you the word. And then you got to you, you gotta use the wisdom and understanding and knowledge of God. Okay, the exercise of free will, sin, we make sinful choices. We make choices every day. Choices result then if we see all the good things, if you make the wrong choice, you see all the good things that God has given you, guess what? It come crashing down on you. Okay? All of them. You'll see. Okay, that's what we, we sow. Those principles do apply, even to Solomon. Solomon wrote the book of Proverbs. He was young and he worked the book, you know, when he was youth, he wrote the book of Proverbs. He wrote the son of Solomon and then by the middle of his life and then at the end of his life, he wrote Ecclesiastes. You know, the vanity. Life is meaningless without God. That's what he said. He ends it with that. He ends it. It's meaningless. I can have all the adventures. I can go out there and be successful in this world without God. But it's empty and passing. Okay? I want you, you need to understand that. Um, I'm prefacing this before we get into the reading of the word. Okay? The misuse of wisdom is vanity. Okay? It's sinful practices of the flesh. You can go to Galatians 5, 19 to 21 if you don't understand what walking in the flesh means. The heart goes astray, in other words. And then, you know, and in, in, in Solomon's case, he had them worshiping, they started worshiping idols, and then he allowed the uh, is, Israel to even sacrifice their children to, to, to idols. If we're going, if I put this statement here, if we are going to have any measure of success in this world, we, I, need God. It's wisdom, okay? That's the bottom line. Okay, that's the bottom line. Bottom line, bottom line, bottom line, bottom line. Now, I'm going to end it with this thing, you know. How can the Bible help me? How can Proverbs, how can the Bible itself help me? Okay, in everyday living. This is what Proverbs does. It helps us in everyday living. Proverbs helps us process life. Okay, you know. That Proverbs is best understood. It's practical, not theological. And that's what we, we get into these theories. All we want is practical. And it's about two truisms. This is important. It's not promises. It's not promises, okay? Proverbs. He said, if we, if we, it's like if we build a house, it build a life, it helps us build a life. If we build a life on this, it will go better for us. But it's not always. Things happen. Bad things happen to good people. Okay. If we build a life on this, it, 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 ninety percent of the chance is going to be bad. Go better for us. Example, like if you train up a child. Okay, the truth is, I train up a child. I train them in the word. Train my boys in the word. They still can go astray. Okay, they still can have accidents. Something still can go wrong. But I did what I supposed to have done. But if they go and listen to me. They gonna have it's more than likely they will have better things in life because they they are following God and His Word, okay. But it, things happen in the world. Things happen. Or love, another one: if I save a little bit every from my youth all the way to my old age, I should have a lot of money. Not all things. What if the company go a bust? Like I show you on my when I do my stocks, you know things can go a bust real quick. It had nothing to do with me putting money into that stock when it was good. If I put it in the video and then all of a sudden the video go bust, then I lose my money. And then I, I shouldn't blame God because, you know, the principle is always, the principle is always correct. Okay. The, the, the truism is always correct. There's cause and effect, you know. The principles. The next thing, and then it, it's, it's practical, it's truisms. That's what Proverbs says. And then there's principles. Okay, they're not methods. Okay. The principles always work. The principles never change, but the methods change. If I put my son, you know, I might say, instead of uh, instead of putting my son in public school, I put the method, I put him uh, homeschooling. That kind of thing. The method, whatever method, you know, we look at the method. The principle is correct, you know. 
Okay, the main thing, our one principle can't have many methods. Okay. Okay. Wisdom is wisdom is used about 120 type here in Proverbs 120 times. The aim of Proverbs is to help us acquire and apply God's wisdom to our everyday life. Apply it. Not just go to church and not just hear it from folk and then fellowships and then all of a sudden we we don't apply it. It's for us to apply these principles. It's the description, the, the descriptions of I'm gonna use in three different times, you know, you don't understand wisdom, you use it in description, you describe it, the source and the benefits of wisdom. So the description of wisdom is, is wise. It's the word used is it's it, it's it's skilled in building. That's how you describe was a skill a skilled in building. It's like building blocks of life. Okay. Knowledge and understanding and wisdom throughout Proverbs. You're going to see those things throughout. Knowledge is the accumulation. I told this to a young person, young lady. I said, knowledge, okay, is the accumulation of information. Okay. We talk about God, it's accumulation of information. Understanding is interpreting that inform information, but wisdom apply that information. It applies, okay? If you use, if you have both knowledge and understanding and you don't apply it, there's no, what good is it? Okay, what good is it? I used to tell people, you know, what good is it? And the Bible tells us in, to get wisdom. He said, get wisdom. Proverbs 4 or 5, I'm going to say it again when I go through my reading. Okay? This is a man every minute. You know? you know, Google do searches and like, see, he has so much knowledge out there. Matter of fact, the New York Times every day, they write a, they write a paper. If that The information they have in that paper was more knowledge than they had back in the 18, was it 1800s? The 18th century, in their life, and they have you can take that in their lifetime. One daily print have more information in it than these folk back in the 18th centuries who were living their entire life out. They don't get that much information. This is how much information we're being bombarded with, with the internet, with all the things that we we get, with all these tweets. I got about five tweets when I get off the. When I leave here, when I finish the broadcast, I got this morning when I woke up, I had seven different tweets from nieces and friends trying to get me to uh, the, to engage in some things. So I'm gonna send some tweets back in a few minutes. You know, when I get off this uh, today, he said the Bible shapes our the Bible shapes our worldview of all things. Now. If you don't, the world gonna straight your worldview. The Bible shapes my worldview, but it be that's on you. Okay, what is my what is my source? My source is Jesus, the Word of God. Colossians two three. All the treasures of wisdom is in Jesus. Colossians because of Him. One one Corinthians one thirty talks. You get those two scriptures. You got to get those two scriptures. Okay. No Jesus, no wisdom of God. I say that. I didn't say no world wisdom. World have their own wisdom too, because world can do things. They step on your neck and they they successful. You know they do success thing in the world, but it's not God's wisdom. Okay, I'm not saying. Um, I, let me say it again. I'm not saying that if you have the if if you do not have wisdom, if you do not have Jesus, you have world wisdom. You have the world. You have the Satan's wisdom. Satan is the is the world, folks, okay? Well, there's earthly wisdom, there's heavenly wisdom. Earthly wisdom, you know, is the, with people, you know, with people, esteem people, you know? That's the foundation of self. It's earthly gain and earthly sources, okay? Okay? Trump is a perfect example on how he used that to get successful. He stepped on people and, and, or whether Biden lied, all the politicians, they lied to get earthly stuff. So they, they applied their methods to it. James 3 breaks it down, uh, what is earth, between earthly wisdom 
and godly wisdom. And it's verse 13 to 17, uh, 13 to 18. I'm not going to read it, but godly wisdom deals with purity, peace, loving, consideration, cons being considerate, submit being submissive, uh, sincere, and good mercy. Okay. We need the application to all this way. We need ap the application to apply our wisdom, the God's wisdom. Okay. We need, we need, we need the app. We need to apply it. Okay. And the benefits, I'm going to tell you, the benefits of wisdom is happiness, longevity, honor, peace, and protection. Okay. So let me get into the reading. We and we while we go, I'm, I'm gonna start sharing our screen. Okay, like always, I start off. We're gonna get really get into this. It's only gonna take me about less than a half an hour to get through this because I then we're gonna come back and we're gonna look at we're gonna just go quickly. Uh, doing the reading because then your faith come by here and hearing the word of God. But I always put in the beginning God, Almighty Jesus. Okay, <laughs> and I put these scriptures up there so you can go to them because I try to keep. If I don't want to lie, I gotta stay with the truth. The truth, Thy word is truth. John seventeen seventeen. If you ever want to look it up, what is truth? And uh, you can say, well, this is facts. It's uh, but it's not truth. It, you know, it may not be true. Facts and truth is two different things. Okay. Facts and truth is two different things, but I get into that another level. The book of Proverbs is about the almighty Jesus who is wisdom. He's the source of wisdom. He's the source of understanding. He's the source of knowledge, okay? He's the creator of all things. And that's why I'm saying the book of Proverbs, purpose again, application. We do truisms. We're going to get into the truisms of money, I'm going to do that at the end of uh, this Proverbs. I'm going to do that at the end. I'm going to do one session on all these money, sexuality, family and friends, speech. I might even do seven weeks and take each of these truisms of money, truisms of sexuality, family and friends, speech, vices, those negative things, and then those positive virtues. We should, once we become born again, we should start, it should start becoming outward. OK, we should stop lying and cheating and doing the things we do. And it takes almost a lifetime to get all that stuff that we build a life, half a lifetime acquiring. OK, 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 get wisdom. And that's why I told you before, get wisdom. Chapter eight is dear. He, I put this quote up here and I and I want you guys to really you think about some won't get it right now. But he said the difference. I, I, I got this quote off the, you know. Uh, from a from a preacher he said the difference between he got it from somebody too so we all getting it from so i think it's albert einstein or something the difference between stupidity and genius is that genius has its limits mm. well, i'll let you let it soak in you before when i was younger that's why i'm keeping this picture up here when i was young i had world wisdom Okay, I applied the application, the world, the product. That's why I was successful in the world. You know, I went to the military. I did things, got into a good government job. I traveled. And, you know, I got college educated and all this other good stuff. You know, you get your mad when the University of Maryland, one of the top schools. And I start saying, oh, thank you, sir. Oh, oh, oh. smacking my lips and all this stuff. I was world. Okay. But then again, when I turned 36 years old, I, I was born again and, and I got after, that's why I say before and after, I got God's wisdom, okay? God is still teaching me, but applying his wisdom because sometimes I'm foolish. I'm not a fool, but I'm foolish. Okay, do, okay? I do foolish things and I try to catch myself, but I got to stop, okay? God is telling me, stop, okay? Because people are watching. Wisdom persified. That's why I say this is a, the uh, chapter eight is dealing with wisdom persified as Jesus. But it's an attribute of Jesus at the same time. He's going to say, I wisdom. I wisdom. 
Okay, speaking. That's why I put these Colossians in there. Go ahead and show, show So, you know, go go back to these and read these things right here. This is New Testament. He said that's Old Testament. This is New Testament. Solomon, under the inspiration of God or the Holy Ghost, used the word she, because people don't say, well, he said she, so that means God must be a she, or Jesus must be she. You know, the word, man, you know, come on, God must be a she. I uh, know. He used the she pronoun to satisfy the demand of diction, I believe. This is what I believe. Some other scholars, they go out, they got a whole, just Google, they got a whole thing about how, why he used she. You know, because the women that take it as a, as a, as a, get puffed up. He said, women don't get puffed up. He used she as a pro, that's a she pronoun to satisfy the demands of diction, language, just like Mexicans use uh, amiga and amigo, and then Americans use something, you know, for man and female. But he used the word she. Okay. He didn't add she as a source. Okay. I want you to understand that. So I'm going to leave it up here. Now let's get into our lesson. Okay. Let's get into this. This is what uh, the word say. This is, this is, this is Solomon under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. He said, uh, he said, does not a skillful, godly, all my, I put this in here, a parenthesis, this thing, this is me. When you see this, I'm adding that. Uh, you see that? I'm adding that. Okay. Okay. No, that's not add me. That's the, the book that I, this amplified version I'm reading. It. They add. He said, does not skillful godly, and I say godly, almighty, Jesus' wisdom cry out, and understanding raises her voice. You look at her, it's the female now, what I told you about up there. In contrast to the loose woman, the last week we talked about the loose woman, okay? On top of the heights, beside the ways. Yeah, he said, where the paths meet. The almighty Jesus, and he says, skillful. Okay, at the gates, at the entrance of the town, at the coming of the door, she cried. To you, old man, this is it. To you, old man, old men, I cry. This is women too. Come on. What are you talking about? When you say men, talk about women. They're like male, female. Still got that male in there. Man, woman, got that man in there. To you, old man, women, I call. My, let's see his capital. My almighty Jesus' voice is directed to the sons of men. Women, okay? Oh, you simple, you thoughtless, you under one, un thoughtless ones. Understand prudence. You self, look at this, at you, you talking about self, that flesh, look at that, that fleshly carnal life. When you say self, Jesus said, unless a man died to self, he cannot be my disciple. Look at this, he said the flesh, look at that, the fleshly carnal life nature. That's why I put that definition in the idea of that, the life, this is biblical death. The life of the first Adam. Dead in trespasses and sins. You should read that. Go to Ephesians 1, Ephesians 2, 1, and go to go down to verse 3. Through thoroughly corrupt. See, he said, when people say they're only human, they're saying they thoroughly corrupt before God. Okay? And God, that Almighty, and then you talk about these thoroughly corrupt, you go to Galatians, you see why you thoroughly corrupt and read these verses in Galatians 5. They self-confident, that's what that word, self-confident. And then he calls you a self-confident fool, okay? He said, look at that. You owe oh, you thoughtless ones, he said you self-confident. He said you self-confident, here's what he's telling you, he said you self-confident fools. Fools are feeble-minded, imbeciles, idiots, morons. They are rebel against God, Almighty Jesus, and the laws of order, decency, and justice, who is spiritually blind. And you go to Psalms 1, 14, 1. You know, we can be foolish. We can be feeble-minded. We can be imbecile. He said, but you're not. You're born again, okay? But he's talking to men. He's talking to those who have not been 
uh, say, but we can be foolish. We can act just like these self-confident. We, we say, me, I, me, myself, and I. Okay? You can be going to church every week. You can be foolish. If you're born again, you're not a fool because you're in Christ. You're not, and you should be moving further away from the self piece. Okay. He said, be of an understanding heart. Okay. Here, that's what he said. When we say here, he means listen. Your spiritual ear. When you hear, he said, here, for I, this is Jesus. He said, I, Almighty Jesus, will speak excellent, excellent, and princely things. Okay. And the opening of my lips shall be for right, the right thing, right things. For my mouth shall utter truth. Look at that, he shall utter truth. Jesus said, I'm the way, the way, the truth, and the life. And wrongdoing is detestable. I'll tell you that now. Wrongdoing is detestable and loathsome to my lips. That's the almighty Jesus looks. He said, all the words of my almighty mouth, okay, all the words in my mouth are right, righteous, upright, this thing right here, okay? Upright and right, and right standing with God. He said, all the words in my mouth. There is nothing contrary to truth or crooked in them. They are all plain, all plain to him who understands. And look at that. That's, a, you know. And with an and opens his heart. He wants you your heart to be open, your heart to be pricked and open. He said, and write to those who find knowledge and live by it. Okay. Live by it. Receive my instructions and preference. Receive them. He said, Re receive my words and instructions. And a preference to striving for silver and knowledge and knowledge, receive my instructions and receive my knowledge rather than silver and gold. That's what he's saying. Choice go. For skillful and godly wisdom, almighty Jesus wisdom, okay, is better than rubies and pearls and all the things that may that may be desired and not to be compared to it. Okay, you might want to receive pearls and rubies, but he said, if I, I if I give you my wisdom, it's better than all those things. Okay. Anything the world have to offer, he said, is better than. He said, our Almighty, he said, look at it. Our Almighty Jesus' wisdom from God make prudence my dwelling. And I find out knowledge and discretion. Hmm. He said, a reverence, fear, fear, and the worship of the Lord Almighty includes, and this is what it includes. Okay. He said, the reverence, you're going to reverence me. People say, what is the fear of the Lord? What is the fear and the reverence and the worship of all of the Lord Almighty Jesus? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's the hatred of evil, pride, arrogancy, and the evil way, and perverted and twisted speech. He said, I hate. It. Okay. We already went over there in chapter six, what God hates. He said, he's, he, gave, he gave you a little more detail. He said, I hate these things. Now we go down to Brazil, let's go down. We're going to get this thing. He said, I, almighty Jesus, have counsel. Okay. You have sound knowledge. Yes, you do. And I have understanding. Yes, you do, Lord. I have might. I have power. Okay. This is what he's saying. He said, I got power. I got counsel. I got knowledge. I got understanding. I got might. And I got power. By me, he said, kings run ring. He said, if you do it right. King's reign and rules decree justice. Not what we keep seeing on this, this, this TV stuff. He said, by me, princes rule, nobles, and all the judges and governors of the earth. He looked, he said, he said, all. Oh, look at look, he said, by me, princes rule, nobles, even all the judges. 
So Trump, the judge just ruled, okay? And the governors, they, I know they don't want, he said, that's why he's that free will thing. You remember, I told you about free will. He gives you, he, he puts up one, he takes down the other. Nebuchadnezzar, even though he was a despot king, he still, God ruled him. I can take you to Daniel. You should go there and, and, and get... He's the one trash, and that's why Chewbacca said, "Oh boy, God, you're gonna bring this this heathen nation over here to, to chastise your people. He bring China. Okay, nobody's exempt. The devil knows that. Even the devil knows that. He said, look at it. He said, he said, by me, princes, rules, nobles, and all judges. He's all the judges and governors of the earth." Listen to what he's saying. Okay? Listen to what he's saying. He said, I love those who love me. And those who seek me early and, and diligently shall. He said, seek you should find. You remember that in Matthew? Uh-oh. He said, you seek me, Winslow. He said, I get it to you. <laughs> I give you me. Uh-oh. Oh, they're getting happy. Slow down, Darnell. Slow down, man. Riches and honors are with me. Uh-oh. Uh, come on, Jesus. Enduring wealth and righteousness. Okay. I told Abraham was very rich. Isaac was very rich. Jacob was very rich. They had issues, but they were very rich. God, he said, he's there with me. These folk are with God. In every area and relationship and right standing with God. You may not think so. Sometimes it don't look like we we when he said you with me. You, I, I got something for you, brother. I got something for your son. Okay, I got something for your son. He said my fruit is better than gold. Yes, refined gold. And my he said my increase than choice silver. Okay, my increase should that be capital? I, Almighty Jesus, wisdom walk in the way of righteousness. That's the difference, righteousness. Moral and spiritual rectitude in every area and relationship. Okay? The human peace have nothing. Okay? In the midst of the path of justice. That I, almighty Jesus, wisdom, okay, may cause those who love me to inherit true riches. True riches is Jesus. You got Jesus, you got everything. You got Yahshua, you have everything. Jesus, Yahshua, people don't like me to say Jesus. I say it because people say it. I say it. They know, God knows what from your heart you're talking about Yahshua. Okay? And he said that I may feel their treasures. Look at it. Feel their, he said, I may feel their treasures. The Lord Almighty Jesus formed and brought, he's talking about the attribute, he formed and brought me. Almighty Jesus, wisdom. He brought that wisdom out. Jesus is wisdom, and he brought it out. The word is made first. Okay. From the beginning, from the beginning, that was an attribute of God himself, wisdom. And it be personified in Jesus Christ, who walked the earth as a man, but still God. Now I'll leave it alone. Fourth in the beginning of his way. He was the self-existing one, his way. Before he acts of old, he said, I, almighty with Jesus wisdom, was inaugurated. And of, he said, look at that, ordained from everlasting, from the beginning, before the earth existed. He said, when there were no deep, I, almighty Jesus wisdom, was brought forth. When there, look at that, there were no fountains, no lake, no, with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I, almighty Jesus wisdom, was brought forth. Job was talking about it here. Get real. He said, listen to me. He said, listen. While as yet he had not made the land or the fields or the first of the dust of the earth. Wisdom existed. Okay. He said, when he almighty prepared the heavens, when almighty G he, Jesus, you know, all you got to do is go back to John. There was nothing made that was not made by him. But he made it based on wisdom, the application of the word of God. 
He said, he almighty Jesus prepared the heavens and I almighty Jesus wisdom was there when he drew a circle. See, they didn't even think uh, Columbus thought the world, world was flat. He was trying to set out to prove that the world was flat. Set out to believe that he, they, people actually believe that before. He said, look at that. He, he didn't read the word of God. He said, when he drew a circle upon the face of the deep circle, that means the earth was round, or the deep. And he stretched out the firmness over it. And when he made firm the skies above, when he established, look at that, when he, when he established the fountains of the deep. Look, fountains of the deep. Whoa. Fountains of the deep. He said, when he gave the sea, he gave what you what you what you mean? You get the sea limits? It's limits. What? 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 She got limits. And he decreed that the water, uh oh, he told the water, he said, I decree, hey, water, you should not transpass across the boundaries that I set. My God, my God, my God. Okay. He said, His Almighty Jesus commanded. Okay. He, he commanded. He trained He said, He commanded it. You ain't going to go further than what I told you to go. He said, When he appointed the foundations of the earth, uh oh, he told him what to do. Then I, Almighty Jesus, wisdom was beside him. Uh oh, I was beside him as a master and a director of the work. My God, my God, my God! Not only beside, he's in. He was. You can't, you can't fathom that. But I'll leave that alone. Your mind can't wrap yourself around. He said, "I was like a master and a director of the work, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him." That's why John came out in the beginning was, was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. He came out and shed it. Look at this. Okay. That John 1, verse 2, verse 18. And the word was made flesh and rejoicing at his inhabited earth and delighted in the sons of men. He's, he delighted in the sons of men. Uh-oh. He delighted in the sons of men. That's another, that's another. That's another sermon. He said, look at that, rejoicing in, in, in his inhabited earth, delighting in the sons of men. Mm. What does that mean? I leave that alone. Y'all got to get it. One, one day I'll go ahead and preach that thing. Now, therefore, listen to me. Okay, he said, listen to me. Listen to me. Oh, you sons of men. You, oh, you men, you sons and daughters. You know, sons and daughters are the same thing. And, and that's why I say you got to deal with the with the language of God. He's not just dealing with men, he's dealing with women. We're blessed and happy, fortunate to be in all these things right here, to be in thee. Are those who keep my ways. He said, hear instruction and be wise. Okay? And do not refuse or neglect. Don't, don't, don't direct wisdom. He said, blessed and happy. Okay? He said, blessed, happy is the man who listens to me. Uh-oh. Watching daily at my almighty Jesus gate. Okay, gates. Waiting at the post of my doors. For whoever finds me, if you find wisdom, you find Jesus, you find life. And you draw forth and obtain favor. You get wisdom, you draw favor. Because you're in Christ, the Lord Almighty Jesus, the God himself. The beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You find favor with him if you get it. Okay? But if he misses, if you miss me or sin against me, you wrong and injured yourself. Okay? Remember I tell you, come crashing down. Even Solomon, I love you, Solomon. God said, I love you, but you did, you went in the wrong direction. You injured yourself unneedly, unneedlessly, just like most of us today. And all who hate me, he loves and he courts death. If you hate God, if you hate Jesus, if you hate Yahshua, guess what? You love in your core death, you got to come on. You got to repent and get back to where you're going. 
And look what it says down here. This is a footnote I put down here. We put down here. Proverbs 8.30. He said, wisdom here present and involved in that creation as an attribute of God Almighty. Jesus is an attribute. Hmm. I want you to understand it. Let's stop sharing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, we lift you up, we pray, we praise your holy name, we thank you for your wisdom. We thank you for that, that wisdom that, uh, that gives us life. We thank you for you, we thank you for Jesus, because Jesus is life. He was the word that became flesh, and he dwelled, and he spoke to us, he said, before Abraham, I he said, I am, and they knew what they were talking about. They, they knew he was, he was God. They, they, they knew it. His Nicodemus came by night, and he said, I know you must be from God because you couldn't do all those things. And Jesus just told him, a man must be born again. We got a lot of folks who's preaching and teaching. You got a lot of folks who is sitting in these facilities, fellowships, organizations, uh, religious organizations, is not even saved, Lord, not even. They they not born again. They 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 say faith, and they don't understand what faith is. You know they they, they go around it like you says like a man looking in looking in in, in the glass or uh, looking in this river, and then they turn away from that that lake and that mirror, and then they forgot who they were. They wearing crucifixes. They wearing they were carrying big Bibles, but they don't even understand what's in it. So, Father, I thank you for your uh, for waking me up at the age of 36. I, I'm just going to thank you for that. Uh, you know I'm not perfect. I mess up. Even I mess up. Mess up last night. I mess up. I'm probably going to mess up today if if I'm not careful. Uh, but I know you don't. You're perfect. I'm in you. So I, I, I you gave me your righteousness just like you gave to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and all those who bo are born again. Uh, you know, you got a million, billions and millions of folks, you know, out there that's 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 praising and, and lifting up your name. And uh, and I, I'm so grateful. So, Father, uh, you know, as I conclude this uh, wisdom chapter, this, you know, this is one of my favorite ones. And, yeah, you had to, you know, you had to give me counsel over and over about this one. But uh but, uh, you know, I kept coming back. I sought you early. I seek you early. And I'm going to continue to seek you every morning. Like I get up, you know, I get on my knees and, and say, just thank you sometime. I don't have a lot of time, but I do. And I praise you all the way to work. And then I'm just so happy. And and I, and I, and I your people, when they come up to me and ask me a question, even those who are not your people right now, but you already know they're your people. They come up to ask me questions. You give me the answer. And they, they, that's why they say, you know, you, you, you were correct. And I understand that. I under, I'm getting a better understanding of this. He said, we're all getting good understanding. He said, but wisdom is the principal thing. And I thank you for your wisdom. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I told you, I keep praying. I pray for just as long as I read that word. Because pray, a prayer is, uh, he said, man should always pray and never faint. So praying is not just staying in the building praying is you know i you know people gotta understand what prayer is it's talking to god i can talk to god while i'm talking to you so he said you should always pray and never faint that's what jesus did when jesus walked the earth he's the god well, that was god himself walking the earth god was in jesus reconciling the world back to himself but people don't understand that they can't fathom that because they have a limited uh understanding of, you know, they can understand the internet and they can understand that why we can talk on the phone and this little bitty, this little bitty phone here, we can talk on this phone here and we can talk to people all around the world on this little bitty phone. When a few years back, I remember we didn't have that. All we had was a, a phone booth and a big phone in your house. If you had one in your house, a lot of people now, I remember all that. So I understand. And now you got a phone, a phone so thin that you can, you can fit it in your little pocket up here. You got a flip phone, you know, and you can hear people around the world with no wires. My God, my God, we got Wi-Fi and all this other good stuff. God is good. And that's why I, uh, I, don't, I don't take him lightly. 
And uh, when I sin, I, I sin against him. I don't sin against the person. I don't sin against, I sin against him and him alone. So he can rightly judge me real quick and spank me real quick. Cause you know, like when I was growing up, I, I got about one whooping and I, and I cried before I came to that whooping because I know it, it, if you cry going to the whooping, you don't get it a lengthy. You you started trying to be a man and thinking you, you get more. It's longer. So I just get one or two. Get out of here, boy. Pow, pow, pow. Get out of here, boy. You know, I was smart. Just like that. You know, if I do something wrong, I tell them, say, yeah, I did wrong. And I tell them, a oh, oh, police stop me. I don't give them an argument. I say, they're authority. I don't care if they're out there to beat me and shoot me or whatever. I'm going to give him the authority. If I hear a cop, he's slow, slow down, pulling over. And then he, he just said, well, you're right. If you say I was speeding, I was speeding. You say I did something, I did it. Sorry, I let God be God. All those are tests, seeing see where you are. But that's my little one right there, the little, the little one, the little thing. She looking more and more like the family. Now she getting my little pug nose and and she got the fat face and cheeks. But that's that's the first one. Now we're gonna have a second one. I wonder, you know, women, what the little one, what the boy, girl, what it's, what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna have that picture up there too, once uh once when she she comes, she have her. I have him or her. God is good. That's the future. That land is extending on. That land family extended on. But father, he was a land, he had nine. He really had 10. I met my brother at the family reunion. He might even have more than that. So we we don't know. You know, I don't take anything lightly anymore. I just I give all the praise and honor to my father. So I, you know, this this has been good. This is this is good stuff. You know, I can tell you some stories, but I won't not wait. You know, I'm writing them all, jotting them all down, you know. Wisdom, like I say, the purpose again is to, you know, you know, to help those who, who are unwise. Simple, young man. That's what the problem. That's, hey, he's telling you, God is describing you who he is in terms of wisdom. That attribute of wisdom, that person, Jesus is wisdom personified, just like he's love. But that attribute is like, it, it, it's, it's who he is. Wisdom is who he is. Love and joy and peace and long suffering and meekness and joy and all this, all of self, so all of this, are right, personified who God is. That's walking in the spirit, or we can walk in the flesh, lying, cheating, fornication, adultery. You know, we got to list them. It's the list is too. It is so long, and it's almost you know. That's flesh, but God is good in our praise. So if you want to, like I say, please subscribe to this. If you want to listen to it, if you want to just read, hear. Now, faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. So if you want to listen to it, then you hear these, these, these uh, teachings, saints need teaching. Once you get saved, you need teaching. You need to understand. He said, without getting, get understanding and knowledge. Knowledge is information. Understanding is interpreting and changing, but wisdom is applying what you know. What you know. There's a right and there's a wrong. So now I got to get busy and answer all these uh, questions that they throwing back at me today. But that's good. I love it. You know, you can always too. You can. You can uh, write me too, and you know, on on on. I give you my, uh, you know, I can give you my, uh, uh, give you my, my well, not my cell phone, but because I, I don't want you blowing up my cell phone, but I can give you an email. This is D L Y N N at K I T O T A Y E dot com. You can always write me with a saying you hate it, you love it, and we can get into a discussion. But so, you know, I'm not, re I'm retired, but I'm not retired. You know, I'm, re I'm re you know, I, I'm kind of calling me back to do some things. 
But uh, I'm I'm here as long as I got a got a mind and the mind in Christ, I can help you. Okay, so God bless you. God keep you. God cause His face shine on you and give you peace. And I see you next week. God bless you.